I'm here with Pete Holmes today, probably our most popular guest ever. Is that uh, real? I think so. I mean, it's the thing that people always want. They you always, do, you know, who you look like. Really, you look like a guy from the future. Yeah. And there's something going around. Why do you have to interrupt me so much? <laughs> there's like we're literally eating these saying, these protein can't pouches. Get through an introduction. The protein pouches are like not working on some of the population. <laughs> That's what the doctor says. I don't know why you're interrupting me so much. I'm just trying to introduce the episode. Because you reminded me of what people like about our dynamic. Okay. It's because you're always giving me a go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm giving you what? A go. What's a no go? No one can hear you on stage What's either. A you go? should know. <laughs> <laughs> people oh, really? laugh because you pause. People, you don't end a joke. You fade out. <laughs> <laughs> I. I, I get the I get the note, but I then I'm like, why do ten note. times more people show up to my shows than yours? There he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there it is. is. There's the demon <laughs> smile. Put a space helmet on him. It's the Martian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Somebody get a fishbowl. We got a demon. I'm with my friend Pete Holmes, <laughs> and uh, here's the here's the warning I'll give you, people. We are close friends. We talk on the phone all the time. We run jokes like we do on Working It Out all the time. Uh, we make fun of each other constantly. We still love each other. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. That's the warning. And he's got a great special. It's on Netflix. It's fantastic. It means it's the world. Produced by Bill Burr. Bill Burr. That's our first bit. Hey. That's our first bit. Hey, Petey. I think you should do a special on Netflix. Be my company, all things comedy. No. What do you think? No, I'm serious. You should do a special with me. Bill Burr. Dot, dot, dot. God. That's my impression of you Bill did. Burr you... singing New York, New York. Dot, 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 You know what? You're, you're peaking. On no, two. you're peaking the mic. There's no he's way that that's usable. Gary's on the levels. No, he's not on the levels. Gary, are you even on the levels? Are you, are you lowering the levels? For that? It's just peaking, right? That's what a producer does, Mike. No, they but turn I it up when no, you do peak, your right? NPR voice, and they turn peak. it down when I do my Opie and Anthony All right. voice. Nah. Nah. Hey, babe. Well, I hey, said babe, to you. you ever done? He's just like, he just thought of it. Hey, babe. Nah. You ever think about doing a comedy special? And you're like, I've done like five year old. He's like, nah, you should do one. I opened for Bill 20 years ago. Did you really? Yeah. My friend. you're both Boston guys. Yeah, but it was my friend Dan Kaufman, who's a very funny guy, a talented artist. He would sometimes not be available. He'd get a gig and he wouldn't be available. And he'd call me or he'd call Kumail. We were open micers yeah. and would fill in when he couldn't do it. And the two times Dan Kaufman couldn't do it, Jim Gaffigan, yeah. Bill Burr. Yeah. So I like two arena comedians yeah. now. I opened for them when they were club comics. Wow. And Bill, you know, at that time was still figuring it out. I remember saying to somebody, a comic in the scene, I was like, yeah, I was just in uh, fucking Peoria opening for Bill Burr. And the guy went, Billy Burr? <laughs> he originally was called Billy. But they couldn't believe that he was headlining. That's oh, how long he was such a young was. kid at the time. And yeah. he was a club guy. You know, he's doing 20 at the cellar and they're like, he's going out? Billy Burr? My, not, not dismissive, but kind yeah. of like, really? My great mistake with Bill a million years that ago, and I've since apologized to him about this, is when I met him, he had such a baby face that I thought we were the same age. That's a nice thing. Because he's say. got about 10 years on me. Right, but then it didn't lead to good stuff because I was like, hey, we should do shows together. Oh. Like we were peers and we weren't peers. Well. And it was, and it, ne it look never. Look for the love. I say look for the love. No, I just I did Corolla's podcast and he's kind of shitting on things and saying things that might be hard to agree with. Just look for the love. There's some love in there. You go, I know you're making this joke about this and this, but it's because you care. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't, if you feel uncomfortable, just look, look for the love. And I, I see you saying something nice to Bill. Like you, I thought we were young and spry. That's what I thought. But he called, so I called him 20 years later. We went and saw The Ring together. Okay. The Ring. Yeah, remember I remember that one. The VCR makes, makes you freeze or something. Yeah, it was just he and I in the theater, courtesy seat between us. And then... Uh, <laughs> courtesy seat between courtesy us. Courtesy seat between us. <laughs> okay. Uh, very on brand. And then all <laughs> these years later, to have him produce my special. So I called him. I didn't know how involved he was, being real. Because yeah. he's got a company. And Big I didn't company, know. yeah. And then I called and I was just like, you know, I'm a mushy guy and I like being grateful. It's a, it's a good feeling for me. And I'm like, hey, it just means a lot to have you 
because he kind of walked me into Netflix. Yeah. It's hard, you know. It's hard to get Netflix. That's what I'm saying. It's hard out there. Very hard. And he was kind of like, nah, I'll vouch for you. You know, he waved me into the club. Wow. So I called him and I I left him a big mushy message. And it's Bill Burr, you know. But then he called me back and he, he I didn't answer. I couldn't answer or whatever. I didn't see it. And he left me like a real sweet, like, I'm embarrassing myself, but he was like, you know, it's fun listening to Bill be sincere. Yeah. Because then he immediately will start roasting himself. Yes. Because he's like, ah, you don't have to thank me. He pushes away. You don't have to thank me. He goes, you know, give it to the cream of the crop. And that's where you are. And there you go. There's your mushy message from soft heart Bill. Go fuck yourself. And like, hangs up. You know what I mean? It's just like. If the persona comes in <laughs> to like chase him away. Ah, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 <laughs>